The 49ers like to talk about their depth on the defensive side of the ball. Now they'll have to provide it because the injuries keep on piling up. Defensive end Nick Bosa missed the entire second half. Safety Jimmy Ward broke his hand and cornerback Emmanuel Mosley is likely done for the season. Um, that definitely took away from a little bit of the excitement at the end. It's bittersweet, man. I just hope you're all right. I seen E-Man go down like it almost felt like Trey Lance too. Like, I, you know, those are like both of my guys. It's heartbreaking um, because Emmanuel's, I think, one of the best teammates that I've ever had. Take away the injuries and it was a dominant win on both sides of the ball. The defense once again looked like the top unit in the NFL. It's now five straight games. They've held teams to under 20 points. Man, they make things so much easier on us. Um, I genuinely, when I when they're out there, I, I never believe that a team is going to score. I really don't. I'm so surprised when they do. Uh, what can you say about the defense today? The units has been outstanding. We just going crazy, man. Let's just, you know, we just want to keep this up every game. How about the return of Tevin Coleman? Straight off the practice squad and into the end zone twice. His first NFL touchdown since 2019. It felt real good, you know what I'm saying? It felt so good uh, proving that I still have it. It's like the just riding a bike, right? You know, one gap at a time, hit one cut, get downhill, and that accentuates his strengths. The last two times we played the Panthers, he's been the MVP of the game. So we, uh, we obviously made the right choice by putting him in there. Coleman also proved to be dangerous in the passing attack. Bro, did y'all see that catch? Yeah, catch a little like he was like a receiver, uh, most of that boy. He's just Mr. Reliable. He, he really is. He's one of those guys that you know where he's going to be. You know he's going to do the right thing. And whenever you have a guy like that as a quarterback, you can put that ball up and trust him, and it's fun. Man, he made it. I didn't even see the play, but I heard it was awesome. How about tight end George Kittle celebrating his 29th birthday and had a season high five catches all in the first half? My wife said to me this morning, she said, you get to do something that you love on your birthday. It's the best gift of all. And I was like, wow, the only thing will make it better is a win. Uh, like a six-year-old in the stands, give me a lucky penny pregame. He said, you're going to win today. I said, it's almost a guarantee. Got to love it. So, yeah, no, it's a great present. I absolutely love being out there with the boys. Lucky penny. Seems like th people are throwing pennies away nowadays, not collecting them anymore. And oh, no, here you lucky. are. Hey, I mean, I mean, check out, check out this. It's brand new. It's shiny. It's a great penny. 2020 penny. It's great, 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 great. It was another solid showing for quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo. That's now back-to-back -back games of turnover-free football. To all those that wrote off Jimmy Garoppolo, what do you have to say to them right now? I don't even want to dive into this, but Jimmy's a good, he's a good quarterback, man. He's a good quarterback, and we win games with him. It looked like there was a ton of red in the crowd. Uh, thoughts on the 49er faithful traveling? We were joking around before the game that we had worked silent count all week, and uh, when we saw it, when we came out of the tunnel, we pretty much knew we weren't going to need it. It's a testament to our fan base. They're the best in the world, and um, they show up everywhere we are. Next up for the 49ers, a road matchup with the Atlanta Falcons in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And if you were wondering, San Francisco sits all alone in first place in the NFC West. Reporting from Charlotte, Charlie Walter for Game Day.